So back in 2.1, uh, we learned how to work with the texture file. We know how to uh, generate a some kind of like a texture map, a PNG in a shape of a square, of a size of either it's 512 by 512, 1024 or 2048, um, those kind of exponential of twos. And we have those PNG maps, we know what to do with them, we know what they do, and we know how to update our textures uh, by adjusting on this map, for say like if I pick this part and turn this into green, and then my model will update itself into a um, with this part green already. Um, so it's, it's sort of like a, a source file where, where the model sort of draw the mesh on or uh, look for what kind of pixels to put on the skin over your model. Uh, it's basically your model skin laid flat and laid out so that nothing overlaps. Um, but however, in 3.0, it's sort of different. The whole system is different. And uh, I don't have a, because currently there's no free version. So if you're using a free version, if you're watching this video and you and it, it, they release a free version and you're using it, it may not be exactly the same case. We don't know yet because there's no free version offer at this point. However, um, we will base on the paid version and talk about this. Um, okay, so that map makes this model. But how do we update our texture? How do we replace something or add something? Uh, or organize it or take something out, something... Um, do, how do we do things? How do we find that PNG? Because you can finish a model, you can save it and export everything out, but you won't be able to find a PNG file. So, let's find out how to do things. So let's start with a very simple example, is that we have two squares in this PSD file. There's a layer called the red square, and there's a layer called the black square. Now, the red square is in a folder called group one. The black square is in the root folder. Um, I want to test it out just to show you that um, how it works when you import this into Cubism. All right, so I've saved the file, and I am going to go to Cubism, and then I will drag and drop the PSD. Now, um, the black, the, the background is blue because I said to blue so we can see both colors. Now, uh, as you can see over here on the parts palettes, there is already a group one folder. So up on importing your PSD, whatever um, layer grouping you have in your Photoshop, it will be transferred over, it will be inherited in the Cubism model file. So, um, if you're working with an artist, just let your artist do whatever he wants to do the ordering, all right? The eyes, the face, the nose, the ears, the hair, um, if there's difference between, there's a folder for the hair front, the folder for the hair back, it doesn't matter. So, because whatever you, you do it in Photoshop, you can fully import over uh, to the parts palettes. Just remember that layers like um, uh, effect effect blending layers such as overlay screen or multiply don't those don't get transferred over um, cubism 310 has their own blend mode for sort of like an overlay and a multiply but uh if you if you've done it in Photoshop it wouldn't get transferred over also if you have some clipping mask in Photoshop those also won't get transferred over yet. Anyhow, so we got the black and red square, so let's try to give it some movements, and for that we need to give it some polygons. So let's auto-generate a heavy one. Okay, and we give the red one, and then we will generate a uh, light one probably. Give it a light one. That's good. Now let's have angle X. Uh, let's do it, give it a three point. And this goes right, this goes left. Let's give angle Y three points. Up. Oops. Remember to go to the destined, um, designated value before you do the movement. There you go. And now I have four, I have 
uh, four points, but I don't have the diagonal points, all right, because they don't match yet. So instead of going to diagonal points and move them to each corner, what I can do is I press Ctrl 4. It gives me the synthesized corner uh, dialog, and I can just say parameter 1, angle X, parameter 2, angle Y, and I said press OK, and they will be synced automatically. Now I have sort of a, a multiply this part and this part and get this part, all right? So we got this in, and for the red box, I will give it a angle Z. Sure, let's give it angle Z, all right? This time I will give it three points. I will give it a rotation and this guy here yeah I need to give rotation a never mind I have to give um, my bad I have to give the rotation deformer the angle Z not the object itself so I got angle Z here with the rotation now I can rotate it over here and the other side I'll rotate it this way so that when I do angle Z, it will rotate around. All right, so I got this and they got this, okay? So, next part is that, um, let's say our, our model is done, and then you decide to change the color of the character's hair, the eyes, or something like that, all right? So let's do color changing, and let's do a shape difference and see how it does. Um, so let's first create a empty layer. Oops, no, no, that's part. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay, I'll give it a mask clipping. Paint it white. And I have to merge it because do remember that clipping masks don't get transferred over. Now for this red square, I will make it into a not Adobe sign. I wanted to give it a triangle, okay? And I'll also change the name of the layer. So I'll call this red triangle now. And I'll call it the white square. Now, the magic is that assume that this is sort of like one one layer called the, the arm or uh, uh, hair, okay? And this is called the eyes and I changed the name I changed the size of it I changed the color of it however essentially it is the same thing in the model I want to replace the same equivalent parts in the model so what happens if I transfer over and replace um, the old atlas or texture file with the new one how does Cubism know if this part is still this black square and this is still the red square okay so let's give that a try. I'm going. I'm going to save this as a different file name. I'm calling it Sample Atlas Two. Press OK. So now I will drag and drop Sample Atlas Two to replace Sample Atlas One. 